Hey y'all, welcome to another cloth diapering video. I have not done a cloth diapering video in quite a while, but I'm gonna do a Q&A video because I still get questions on my old cloth diapering videos. And I just wanna have everything in one concise place for you guys. If you are looking into cloth diapering or you've been cloth diapering, you're not really happy with your current cloth diapering system and you wanna change it over because that's kinda of how I was. We started cloth diapering with my son when he was like five or six months old and I, I liked the idea of it, but I never really loved the process of our cloth diapering until I found these. So let's jump right in. I just have pulled a few questions that you guys have asked me over on Instagram, YouTube, and most of these are in comment section. So if you scroll back to some of my old cloth diapering videos, you'll probably see these questions. But like I said, I want this in one concise video for you to go back and refer to if you are looking into cloth diapering. So first of all, what kind of cloth diapers do you use? We use the assembly cloth diapers. This is our cloth diapering basket. I keep this in our bathroom. This is not all of them, but these are from assembly. So you have an inner liner that looks like this. By the way, this is our third child to use these with. And an outer cover that looks like this. They have some adorable designs. This is actually the, the front of it. The inside is so cute as well. But Assembly is a cloth diapering company that actually started as a cloth diapering laundering service. They kind of had this pickup service in like the city part of New York where they would come to homes and take your cloth diapers to wash. Although I have read some success stories of parents cloth diapering these, washing these in laundry mats. Anyways, that's where Assembly started. Now they are a cloth diapering company. So you have this two part system that works beautifully. These are so easy to clean. These have held up so well. So let me show y'all. I also want to type, talk about how well these have held up. So this is an original one from my first two children. So you can see it's a little more worn than this one. This is a more updated one that we got with Eliza, but still perfectly good. They're going to show wear and tear, but they still work perfectly. They're still so soft. We just love assembly cloth diapers. The next question I often get asked is how many do you need for each size, same amount for each? So I actually don't have the same amount in size one and size two. So a size one is intended for a smaller baby, obviously a size two for a larger baby. Size one is rated for seven to 17 pound babies. Size two is rated for eight to 18 to 35 pound babies. So depending on how quickly your child gets out of size one will need how will depend on how many more you need for size two as well as how quickly you're going to potty train your children so this is so dependent on your family how often you want to wash your diapers how quickly your child transitions from next to the, one size to another so when people ask me these questions i really have trouble answering it i just kind of tell people what we have done and our experience with them so that's what i'll do here so size one like i said is rated 70 to 17 pounds my babies are always a little bit on the smaller end if your baby has chunkier thighs, they may need to move up to a size two quicker than my baby. So you're really just going to have to gauge it once you've put these on your baby and see how they grow within them. But what I, what I was getting at is we have had 12 to 15 size ones. With my daughter, we had 12. Now with my second daughter, we have 15. My son was only ever in size twos because he was older when we switched to assembly. He only wore them for a few months before he was potty trained. So with him, we had eight of these. I don't ever think we actually needed eight. And then my second daughter still had eight of these. We just added 12 of these. So back to what I was saying, 15, anywhere from 12 to 15 and eight to 12. So I definitely don't think you need as many size twos if you're going to potty train, toilet learn earlier. Like we have, we toilet train around 18 months to two years old. Now with my third daughter, my third child, we were actually doing elimination communication, so we were actually already technically toilet training her, and she uses so many less cloth diapers than my first two children did, but we'll save that for another question. So with that being said, just buy a lot of the size ones, because you know you're gonna need a lot of those. Infants wet a lot more than the toddler size, and if you are gonna, if you see you're gonna need more of these in the future, you can always add another round of dip. Assembly has really good sales they run um, every Earth Day. They also have sales like at the end of the season. So always watch their sales if you're wanting to stock up on more of either size if you're seeing you're going to need more. But like we bought these with my second daughter and I've not bought any more. My mom gifted us a few with our third baby, but it's not like you're going to have to keep buying these with each child. So I've also had the question, what age do your children move from size one to size two? I've been going off the pounds. This is my first baby, but I have no concept of age and weight. So yes, that is tricky because I had no idea 
the weights for children until I actually had children. I didn't realize it varied so much. Those percentile charts that you get at offices and you can read online are often not accurate. It's also very dependent on breastfed babies versus formula fed babies. So honestly, this is so dependent on your family. So she was basically just asking at what age do they transition? So she was guessing five or six months. That, but that was way off for us. My Eliza is five, almost six months now, and she still fits easily into size ones. Again, my children are more on the petite side, and this is totally going to be dependent on your child. But we can squeeze size ones up until close to a year usually. The weight limit is 17 pounds, but I've actually squeezed the weight limit closer to about 19 or 20 pounds, maybe even a little more. I just fasten it on the last snap. Fits fine because you have this nice cover on the outside to hold in any leaks. So this is still going to hold everything fine. Now, Assembly does recommend it for only 17 pounds, so you can definitely follow that if you want to. But um, we always had more size 1s, so if our size 2s were all dirty, I would easily just put a size 1 on my second daughter, and it worked just fine. Yeah, so that's how we did it. Um, our kids transitioned around the one-year mark, but it's going to definitely depend on your family, your baby, your preferences. All right, do you use assembly from birth. I've been thinking about using disposable at the beginning until the infant poops becomes less like tar. Yes, definitely. We do not use assembly until the meconium is passed in our babies, which is usually about seven to 10 maybe ish days, um, but we don't actually put these on them quite yet. But for the first like three to six ish weeks, I think we've done like four or five weeks usually, we use just disposable diapers. It's easier because at that young, young age, your baby is pooping and peeing so much, you'll be washing a lot more diapers if you were going ahead and using these. But Assembly talks all about using these from birth. You can definitely use Assembly called diapers from birth. We just personally have not because it makes our lives easier. I think people sometimes think that if you cloth diaper, you have to do all or nothing. That is not the case. If you're just using cloth diapers half the time, you are saving so much money, saving so many materials from waste of disposable diapers. So yes, definitely you use disposable at the very beginning because I don't want to be cleaning the conium off of these. Although they're very easy to clean. Are the inners supposed to get super soaked? I was thinking I put it on wrong, but it's pretty tight. Do your kids have imprints from the diapers? Okay, so the inner is going to get very soaked. That is the that is how the system is set up. So this is going to absorb all of the pee and the poop. This is gonna hold it from leaking. So sometimes we do just put these on our babies and just walk around, but if they pee and they're sitting against you, you're gonna have a damp shirt because it's gonna go through this. This is not meant to hold in everything. So if they've peed three or four times before you change them, this is gonna be pretty saturated. So you do have to kind of watch. I usually try to only let them pee in this once or twice and really try to watch and change it because it will get really soaked. Your child will be feeling wet, but it actually helps them potty train sooner because they don't really like that feeling. It's not like a disposable, they're not gonna feel completely dry. But yes, this will get really wet, but this is gonna hold everything in. So if you're just walking around with your baby and they have this on and they've had several peas, you're probably not gonna realize it until you go change them because this holds thing, everything in so well. You are going to want to pull these over the the ruffles here very well to make sure nothing leaks out. Same thing for poop, but I have never had a blowout on these. We've never had a diaper leak unless it's put on improperly. So unless you don't have these snaps tight where it hugs their, their thighs really well, that's the only time we've ever had a leak. And um, yeah, that was just a user error. So back to the imprints. Um, we've never had, imp we've had like the little button imprints I have had like the little imprints when I, like if this doesn't get snapped and maybe like some imprints from the, the like pad part of the diaper, but not like where it was cutting into them. Um, my husband puts these on tighter than me. I've noticed, I guess just being a man, he wants to make sure everything's tight and tucked in, but no, we've never actually had imprints on our child. So maybe just check if that's happening, just check and make sure it's not too tight. Maybe you could try loosening it a snap and making sure it doesn't leak that way and just maybe not tighten it so much. But I noticed my husband gets these super tight on my baby's belly. Um, he is really good at putting on diapers by the way. These are definitely husband approved. They're just like a disposable, but instead of like the Velcro sticky snaps, that you put on like a disposable, you just have snaps. There's no nothing to fold, nothing to crease, nothing to pin. They're so simple, guys. This is just a disposable wipe diaper basically that you wash that saves you so much money. 
Can you explain how the system works and can you use any other outers? Okay, so the system, I already kind of explained it. You have an inner that holds the messes, the outer holds everything in. And yes, you can use any outer. I had some like Bone Genius Grovia. I'm trying to remember the ones we used with my first child. Outer covers that we would use with flats and pre folds, and you had to fold all that stuff. And I have videos on that if you want to look back and see what we used to use. But you can use any outer over this inner, but you do need an outer to cover this because, like I said, moisture will seep through this. You will get wet if you're holding your baby if they're in their clothes. Their clothes will get damp if you don't have the outer cover over it. But you can interchange outers from other brands. Maybe you've been cloth diapering in the past and you just want to switch to assembly. All of your old covers will work just fine. You can use wool covers. You can use any other brand. You could even just stock up on inners. Use all your old outers that you had from the past if that's how you want to do it. Or you could thrift some of these and just buy inners. Um, yeah, so definitely interchangeable, but that's the system. You do need them together to make sure you're not having leaks and blowouts, etc. All right, next question. I have seen that Assembly recommends not soaking and rinsing their diapers. Have you ever experienced any degradation from rinsing the poopy diaper? Okay, so she is referring to on the website, you can read about how to wash the diapers. And they do recommend not doing like extra rinse and soak cycles in your washing machine. I'm not going to go into our wash routine here because I actually have a whole video talking about how we strip diapers, how we hang line diapers. Um, I'll link that down below for you guys if you want to see more on how we white wash these. And Assembly also gives you full thorough instructions on how to properly take care of these. But she is asking about rinsing and soaking these. Whenever we have poop. I don't like rinse them and wring them out. I usually just grab some toilet paper and rake it into the toilet. If it's a super, super wet diaper, we do have a diaper sprayer. I will lightly spray it off into the toilet. I've shared about that in the actual process in a previous video. It's called a full day of cloth diapering. If you want to like walk through a full day with me and how we do cloth diapering and rinse out the poop, but I don't actually soak these. So if there's poop on them, I get it off the best I can. If there's a little bit left, I've not had any problems with it. Oh, by the way, breastfed babies don't have to be rinsed. You can just throw a breastfed poopy diaper right into your diaper bag, your wet bag, and wash it. Your wa it is water soluble, so your wash will completely get that out. However, toddler poop, which is what happens in these size two bigger diapers, you do need to rake that out before you put this in the washing machine because you can get poop fragments in your washer and it will clog it up and just not a good picture to have to deal with. So rake it off into the toilet. I don't soak or like thoroughly like rinse and wring them out. But no, we have not, to answer your question, we have not seen any degradation in our diapers. Like I said, this has now been through two kids and is going on our third kid. But y'all can see these look pretty much good as new. There's minimal staining. There's no peeling. There's no fuzzies anywhere. They are they're so clean. They've held up so great for us. What do you wash your cloth diapers with? Okay, so Assembly sells a special soap that you can buy. I've never tried it. I've heard it works great, but we actually have used several options. I've used Branch Basic. Now I make a homemade detergent. I have a video I'll link below on how I make our detergent. Some people have not had success with homemade detergents and cloth diapers. They've had buildup and then you're talking get ammonia burns if they're not properly absorbing. I've not had issues with that yet, so be cautious on using a homemade detergent, but that's what we use. We try to keep things cost efficient and I don't want to be buying extra detergents when I just already make our detergent. It works just fine. Last question I was going to answer is, do you have any other suggestions for add-ons from Assembly? I'm trying to stock up at their Earth Day sale. So as I'm filming this, they're actually just having their Earth Day sale. I apologize that I don't know I did this video out before this Earth Day sale, but it slipped my mind. And you'll have to wait for the next sale or just stock up. I do have a coupon code I'll leave for y'all below. You can use my code, but it's not quite as good as the Earth Day sale, so I apologize. This is the only add-on we have from Assembly. I have tried their diaper cream and I liked it, but we actually make our own diaper cream. Um, so I don't buy theirs anymore. But this is the only add-on I have. I think cloth diapering can be very simple. You don't need lots of extra things. Just the diapers, maybe a couple wet bags. We have a large wet bag we keep in our bathroom for when we change diapers at home. But this is our on the go. And yeah, that's that's how simple it is. I, I store them in a big basket. We keep these on a shelf in our bathroom. I used to fold cloth diapers on the third baby. I don't fold them anymore. They're just stuffed in here because I'm just gonna grab one and put it on. 
And yeah, I hope this answers some of your questions about cloth diapering in one cohesive video. If you have any more, like I said, leave them below. I'll be happy to go into more in depth or if I didn't explain anything, you're still a little confused, leave it below. I'll be happy to comment. We love cloth diapering if you can't tell and it has just been wonderful for our family. So thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you all in a future one.